What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ghost of the Night, Hauntings and Paranormal Podcast. I'm Phil Sam. Thank you so much for checking out this podcast. Today we have another On the Hunt episode, which if you're not familiar with this particular type of episode, this is where I actually play audio from an actual investigation that I have taken part in. And in this investigation, we came across a nasty potty mouth spirit. So you're going to want to check this one out. Stick around. Ghost in the Night with Phil Sams. Before we get started, let me go ahead and give you a brief history about this location. This is the Scott County Museum, which is in Scottsburg, Indiana. It, at one time, was the Scott County Asylum. It was basically a poor farm. It was built in the late 1800s. So if you're not familiar with what a poor farm is, they basically, for those who, it's a place for people who can't take care of themselves don't have the financial means they basically put all these people into one location there was also some mentally challenged people in this location that is one reason why they call it an asylum basically these were like the nursing homes of back in the day and if you know anything about nursing homes probably everybody listening to this has had a family member in a nursing home at one time or another they aren't the greatest places even though they might have well intentions Sometimes care is not really top priority and not all the time. So you can only imagine that there's a lot of energy that has been stored up in this location. There, I'm sure some people were probably mistreated in some way, shape, or form. So naturally there could be some serious energy, serious negative energy, and probably some really good activity in this location. So that is why... I was really looking forward to going on this investigation because of that mere fact. Wherever traumatic situations have taken place, you are, it gives you the best chance to get some kind of activity, whether it be residual or intelligent. And this place did not disappoint. Um, it was an older building, and now it acts as a museum. So there's a lot of act, or a lot of uh, artifacts in there so that could also add to the activity or the paranormal activity that is in this location whenever you bring highly charged items there's some civil war stuff there that can even bring more energy to the place so it was a very interesting investigation and one particular part of that investigation i had something that i've never had happen before and that is what I want to play for you. But let me kind of kind of summarize it for you. This is a ghost box session we did fairly early on in the evening. And if you've listened to this podcast, you know I have a love-hate relationship with the ghost box because of basically what it is. It is just a radio that is on with a broken seek button. It just continues, you know, scanning the frequencies. And... For those who who don't know, basically that the theory is that they can use that white noise because it does generate some white noise to communicate and spit out words. But you also get a lot of, you know, naturally there's people talking on the radio and you can get a lot of that. So one way to know for sure that you might not get be getting, you know, a uh, radio personality coming through is if you get swear words or cuss words in any way shape or form because of FCC regulations you know you don't hear cussing on the radio so when you get what you feel is a cuss word you that's a pretty good indication that you might be dealing with something supernatural so that is exactly what happened I'm going to play this episode right now and I'll be back afterwards to kind of summarize and talk about it a little bit more. Oh, that's 
William, are you still here? Tell me his name. Who's talking to you right now? Did that just say? Did that just say fuck? Yeah. You were like screaming it. No. Okay. When you get that, because you're not gonna pick that up. I'm ready to say. That's right. It's just some FCC. Some FCC's firing somebody. That makes it interesting. Who just said fuck? One of us. What are your names? Is this William or Isaac or Edith? Can you say fuck again real quick? Just said it. Yeah. It just went fuck. Thank you. You heard that too. Yeah. So what are you going to say now? I'm saying we got potty mouth spirit. Yeah. Why are you so hostile? Or is this that just the way you talk? To you. What did it say? To you. Do you not like me? Why don't you like me? Telling like Brandon twice, but I'm not for sure. Can you tell me my name? Say my name. Can you come over here and sit next to me on one of these older sofas? What is that? 
Can you tell me the name of the building that we're in right now? Kind of. Kind of. Were you here before this building was built? Is that why you're saying kind of? how you die is that why that you're dead is that why you need help you don't know you're dead help again do you need help crossing over too late why is it too late been here. It's never too late. you die? Now like home room? Home room? Did you die in your own room? Were you a, one of the tenants here? Zetus, and why is she here? She's holding us. She done it. She done? She done it? Edith, why don't you talk to us? Why are you holding these people, these spirits here? I want to talk to you. Do you want to talk to me, Edith? Edith, do you want to talk to me? Did you say demon? Or dog? Beyond. Who do you want to talk to, Edith? Down, sit ne next to me. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. 
Do you know why I'm here? What did I just say? Oh, that's a language. Edith, when did you die? Or what year, what were your living years? Are you holding William and Isaac here? In the pantry. Where's the pantry? that clip that literally shock, shocked me when you get the word fuck coming across a ghost box because it's not serious or xm you know you don't get that it's scanning radio frequencies and you do not get cuss words very you should never get a cuss word unless you know so i lend a little bit more credibility to that being maybe something trying to reach out and if you listen to it and you heard the tone it was basically screaming it. It was very, it seemed to be very pissed off. It wasn't happy that, you know, I hate to say why it wasn't happy, but it seemed to be very agitated that we were there. And throughout the, there were other clues throughout other responses in that episode, as you've probably noticed, that maybe it didn't like me or didn't like the fact that we were there which is very possible, I guess. The rest of the night was, it was a really interesting night, just for a matter of fact. I didn't get a lot of strong feelings there. I didn't get that feeling that there was something watching me or I was something in the room, per se. Um, I did hear a lot of uh, knocks, a lot of bangs. There was one point later on, we had to leave that place roughly about 2 o'clock. So at 1 o'clock, I kind of did a walkthrough, shooting some video just to get some B-roll type shots just for if I wanted to do a video. And, I mean, I was it almost sounded like something was following me. There was like echoing footsteps that weren't mine. Um, and it was to, to the point where I actually went downstairs and said, okay, are you guys banging on the ceiling or what the hell's going on? Because it felt like something was following me. Something was with me. But I never did get that uneasy feeling. Or that scared feeling like I shouldn't have been there. And that's kind of strange with the responses we were getting on the ghost. Or that response, I should say, we got on the ghost box. That was unwelcoming. But I never really felt that in my own way. I mean, I never felt uneasy. I never felt like I shouldn't have been there. Or that I wasn't wanted there. It was just, it was weird. I mean, that place has me perplexed for that fact. I mean, with that response, with that aggression, I would think I would have that feeling of dread or that feeling like I'm not wanted. Wasn't the case. Um, but it's, that's what the paranormal is all about. It's not always cut and dry. Sometimes you get that and sometimes you don't. So let me know what you think. About, you can if you think the ghost box is complete shit that's fine i have my moments where i have serious doubts about it 
But then situations like this come about where, you know, it kind of piques my interest again and kind of gives me hope, kind of gives me, uh, you know, brings light to the end of the, tun- end of the tunnel that maybe the paranormal ghost box really does there might be something to it and it's just not the mind you know trying to make words or answers to questions that aren't really there it's just a coincidence so let me know what you think you can send me an email at gitn podcast at gmail.com as always you follow us on twitter that night underscore ghost that is the best way to get a hold of me And while you're there, give us a follow. That way we uh, get more followers, get more influence out there. And if you like this podcast, hopefully you'll like the uh, YouTube version. I do have a YouTube channel where I do video versions of this particular episode and past episodes. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to there too. That would be greatly appreciated. But most importantly, if you want to support the podcast we do have a spreadshirt page where we have podcast merchandise podcast t-shirts you can find that at the easiest way is just go to the website and that is ghost of the night podcast.com that is a great way or great resource you can get all the past episodes and plus there's links to the spreadshirt account or spreadshirt page and also the patreon now patreon I'm still working on it. It is up and running. I want to, like I said last week, I want to keep the podcast free to anybody that wants to listen to it. But I am going to do some little bonus videos for Patreon only. So if you want some of those to see some of those videos that don't appear on YouTube or aren't a part of the RSS podcast feed, be sure to go to the $2 tier. Just donate the $2 and you will get access to those. I'm currently editing one now, and it should be up in a day or two, hopefully. So if you want a little bonus material, maybe even a few bloopers, and also maybe being part of a live recording of a podcast episode, that is a great way to do it. So join one of those tiers. I have two, two and five dollars. That is That would go a long way to help supporting the podcast and help bring down the production cost of actually producing these podcasts so that's going to wrap up this episode don't forget if you like this podcast and you know somebody that might like it as well be sure to share that with them that is really the best way to grow the listenership of this podcast i would greatly appreciate it we do do a lot of work here and it's not easy and i appreciate everybody that listens so if you want to help grow the listeners of this podcast, be sure to share it with somebody who is also a paranormal fanatic. So until next week, take care, everybody.